hi hello welcome to our channel learn more maths uh, today we are going to solve problems from exercise 4.1 so already we have completed introduction and definitions in this chapter so this is the first two problem so totally there are three bits in the first two problem a b c this is a so manaku uh, fourth chapter lo already introduction complete cheskunnamu so problems idi first problem so problems cheyadan kante mundu mi andarku okati cheptunna entante so, channel prasthanam ane channel description lo provide chestanu so meer andaru kuda meeku chaala use avutundi education sambandhinchi kaani lifestyle sambandhinchi kaani motivational sambandhinchinatundi videos chaala baaguntayi so my brother sir chaala ba explain chestadu meeku andaru tappakunda natustundi meer andaru ok sari subscribe cheskoni follow avandi chaala baaguntundi prasthanam ankodte meeku direct ga channel open avutundi youtube lo search lo kodte ledante nenu kuda description lo link isthanu tappakunda andaru subscribe cheskoni follow avandi so chaala chaala baaguntayi videos okay so now see here what he has given in the first problem by comparing the ratios a1 by a2 comma b1 by b2 comma c1 by c2 state whether the lines represented by the following pairs of linear equations intersect at a point or parallel or coincident so these two first a bit 5x minus 4y plus 8 equal to 0 7x plus 6y minus 9 equal to 0 so these two are the given equations in a bit totally there are three bits a b c this is the first one a so manaku rendu equations ichadu aa rendu equations ratios compare cheyadam dwara avi intersecting lines avtaya parallel lines avtaya coincident lines avtaya cheppam antunnadu so first we have to compare the given lines with comparing the given equations with a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 respectively so this is the first equation we have to compare this first equation with a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 so of now we have to write a1 b1 c1 values so here a1 is x coefficient here in the first equation x coefficient is 5 so we can write a1 is equal to 5 a1 is equal to 5 so here b1 is y coefficient so here y coefficient is minus 4 so we can write b1 is equal to minus 4 b1 is equal to minus 4 so here c1 is constant term here constant is 8 therefore c1 equal to 8 c1 equal to 8 so next uh, we have to compare the second equation with a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 so here a2 is x coefficient here x coefficient is 7 so a2 becomes a 7 so next uh, here b2 is y coefficient here y coefficient is 6 uh, b2 is equal to 6 b2 is equal to 6 so next here c2 is constant here constant is minus 9 so c2 becomes minus 9 so just i have written the values by comparing given equations with a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2 equal, uh, b2y plus c2 equal to 0 so now we have to write a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 so here a1 by a2 is equal to a1 by a2 is equal to a1 value is 5 a2 value is 7 so a1 by a2 is equal to 5 by 7 so next we have to write b1 by b2 b1 by b2 is equal to so here b1 is minus 4 b2 is 6 so 2 2s are 4 2 3s are 6 so it becomes minus 2 by 3 so just observe whether a1 by a2 is equal or not equal a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 so if it is equal again we have to write c1 by c2 but here these two are not equal so therefore we can write a uh, b1 by b2 so if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 therefore we can say the given pair of equations are intersecting lines so if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 then we can say they are parallel if all the three are equal that is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 then we can say the given pair of equations are coincident so ikkada 
मन को ए वन बै एट इज़ नाट ईक्वल टू बी वन बै बी टू वाबी इच्छी ईक्वे मन को इंटर्सैक्टिंग लाइन अवता है और वे ए वन बै एट इज ईक्वल टू बी वन बै बी टू वी इट इज़ नाट ईक्वल टू सी वन बै सी टू अवते अभी प्यारल लाइन अवता है अभी ईक्वल अटे ए वन बै एट ईक्वल टू बी वन बै बी टू ईक्वल टू सी वन बै सी टू अन्नी रेसियो ईक्वल अभी को इनडेंट अवता है सो इकड़ रे नाट ईक्वल काबी इच्छा लाइन ईक्वे इंटर्सैक्टिंग लाइन अवता है देर फोर द गिवेन पेर आफ् ईक्वे आर् वी हेव टू रैट देर फोर द गिवेन पेर आफ् ईक्वे आर् इंटर्सैक्टिंग लाइन सो लाइक दिस यू कैन से वेदर द गिवेन ईक्वे आर् इंटर्सैक्टिंग आर् प्यारल आर् को इनडेंट सो इत मन को फस्ट ए बीट नैक्स्ट बीसी उ नैक्स्ट बी बीट से सो दिस्ज बी बीट इन द फस्ट क्वेश्चन सो सी हियर वाट आर् गिवेन ईक्वे नईन एक्स प्लस थ्री वै प्लस ट्वेलव ईक्वल टू जीरो एन एक्स प्लस सिक्स वै प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर ईक्वल टू जीरो सो अगेन वी हेव टू से वेदर द गिवेन पेर आफ् ईक्वे आर् इंटर्सैक्टिंग आर् प्यारल आर् को इनडेंट बै कंपेरिंग द वेशियो सो कंपेरिंग द गिवेन ईक्वे वित् ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वै प्लस सी वन ईक्वल टू जीरो and a to x plus b to y plus c to equal to zero respectively. so mali manam ichne rendu samikaran alano a1 by a2, b1 by b2, c1 by c2 ratio alano compare chesi. abe intersecting lines lines hota ya. abe intersecting lines hota ya. parallel lines hota ya. coincident lines hota yo chappali. coincident lines hota yo chappali. so dhani kosam manam इच्छा रेक्वे ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वै प्लस सी वन ईक्वल टू जीरो ए टू एक्स प्लस बी टू वै प्लस सी टू ईक्वल जीरो तो कंपेर ए वन बी वन सी वन ए टू बी टू सी टू विवल राय सो फर् दट ऐम कंपेरिंग द फस्ट ईक्वे वित् ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वै प्लस सी वन ईक्वल टू जीरो सो हियर ए वन इज एक्स कोशेंट हियर एक्स कोशेंट इज नईन दर् फोर ए वन बिकम्स नईन ए वन इज ईक्वल टू नईन So here b1 is y coefficient. Here y coefficient is 3. b1 is equal to 3. So here constant is c1. Here constant is 12. So c1 is equal to 12. c1 is equal to 12. So next we have to compare the second equation with a to x plus b to y plus c to equal to 0. So here a to is x coefficient. Here x coefficient is 18. Therefore a to is equal to 18. A to is equal to 18. So here B to is y coefficient. Here y coefficient is 6. B to is equal to 6. B to is equal to 6. So here C to is constant. C to is equal to 24. C to is equal to 24. So now we have to write A1 by A2, B1 by B2, and C1 by C2. So A1 by A2 is equal to A1 by A2 is equal to A1 is 9, A2 is 18. It is 9 by 18. So 9 is the common factor. We can cancel 9 ones and 9 twos. It is 1 by 2. So A1 by A2 value is 1 by 2. So next uh, B1 by B2. So here B1 is equal to 3, B2 is equal to 6. So it becomes 3 by 6. Again 3 is the common factor. We can cancel. It is also 1 by 2. So b1 by b2 is equal to 1 by 2. So next we have to write c1 by c2. So c1 by c2 is equal to here c1 is 12, c2 is 24. It is a 12 by 24. 12 by 24. So again 12 is the common factor. We can cancel 12 ones and 12 two. So c1 by c2 is also equal to 1 by 2. If you observe, all the three are equal. a1 by a2 is equal to 1 by 2. b1 by b2 is equal to 1 by 2 c1 by c2 is also equal to 1 by 2 therefore we have to write here therefore so therefore a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 if all the three ratios are equal therefore we can say the given pair of uh, equations are coincident lines so see here therefore So therefore, the given pair of equations are coincident lines. So this is a second B bit in the first question. Next we have to solve C bit. So see here. Uh, this is C bit in the first problem. 
So the given uh, pair of equations are 6x minus 3y plus 10 equal to 0, 2x minus y plus 9 equal to 0. So these two are the given equations. Uh, now we have to compare the given equations with a1x y plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0, a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 respectively. So first I am comparing the first equation with a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0. So here x is uh, a1 is x coefficient, here x coefficient is 6, uh, a1 is equal to 6, a1 is equal to 6. So next we have to compare the y coefficients. So here b1 y coefficient, here y coefficient is minus 3. So b1 is equal to minus 3. So here constant is 10. So here constant is c1. So c1 is equal to 10. So next uh, here uh, we have to compare this second equation with a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. So here x coefficient is a2, here x coefficient is 2. So a2 is equal to 2 a2 is equal to 2. So here y coefficient is b2, here y coefficient is minus 1. So b2 is equal to minus 1, b2 is equal to minus 1. So here c2 is constant, here constant is 9. So c2 is equal to 9. So next we have to write the ratios a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2. So write a1 by a2. a1 by a2 is equal to so here a1 is 6, a2 is 2. So it is 6 by 2. So 2 is the common factor, 2 ones and 2 threes, it is equal to 3 by 1 is nothing but 3. So next write b1 by b2. b1 by b2 is equal to. So here b1 value is minus 3, b2 value is minus 1. Minus minus gets cancelled, 3 by 1 is also equal to 3. So next write c1 by c2 c1 by c2 is equal to so here c1 is 10 c2 is 9 c1 by c2 is 10 by 9 10 by 9 so now if you, we have to observe a1 by a2 is equal to 3 b1 by b2 is equal to 3 c1 by c2 is equal to 10 by 9 therefore here a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 c2 so therefore we can say the given pair of equations are parallel lines so, I a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 achindi, kaani c1 by c2 is equal to b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 is equal to b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 is equal to b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 is equal to b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 is equal to b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 is equal to b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 is equal to b1 by b2 and c1 by b2 is equal to b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 is equal to b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 is equal to b1 so next class lo manam second problem so mottam kuda graph ki sambandhinchinatundi very very important so next class lo second problem nerchukundam so thanks for watching